Oh yeah, check it out guys. Flywoo ND filters just came to my door. Can't wait to try these. Supposedly, it's like a full kit of ND filters. I actually like didn't really do any research on them at all. Flywoo was kind enough to send these to me to test out. I was using these at first, factory DJI ND filters. You see how I'm missing one? It's because I broke one. Pretty much the next day, they emailed me and asked if I wanted to try this out. And I was like, oh, uh, yeah, of course. So. You know, they came at a perfect time. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Wrap it, unwrap it. Doesn't that sound nice? Look at that print. I'm so impressed with the chrome of this logo. Let's open it up. And it looks like they always include these wipes. Oh, what is this? I think this is like a clear filter, but that's cool. This is really cool. And there's a microfiber cloth. Wow, very nice. And while in my DJI kit that I got, it only had an ND8 and the missing ND16 that I broke, and it had an ND32. You get seven filters with Flywoo, and you only get two with DJI. These don't just fit the O3 camera, but they also fit the DJI Avada. So it works for both. Okay, so before we touch these, we need to clean our hands. So step one, wipe. Hey, this is kind of small for my hands. I got huge hands, you know? What's going on, Flywoo? Step two, dry. Dry my fingernails. This is how I use it, right guys? All right, let's take a look at the cloth. Very nice. So first off, let's put on the DJIs. There's um, two slots on the DJI ND filters. It's hard to see, but there's actually two nubs, right? So usually I would put one in first and just pop it in there. So there are a lot of different aftermarket options. I even had some from AliExpress before and it looked kind of like this. But when, as soon as I remove it, the AliExpress one's cracked. So usually to remove this, I would just take a corner and I would just pry at it. Help, somebody help me. Ah, see the aftermarket filter would have broke, but DJI reinforces it. All right, so here I have the Flywoo ND filter. It looks like it's got some fitment tabs in the sides, on the bottom, probably that goes into the slot. You see the slot at the top, it looks like the hood goes through there. So it looks like to remove it, you just have to pry from the top. But you know, this is my first time doing it, let's try it out. Put the hood part through, that's what I'm thinking. And then I guess you just pop, pop the rest in. Okay, and it just goes pop. So from what I observed, I could see that it's, this is very low profile on the edges. So if you have a frame that's like really tight camera cage, you won't have a problem with this one. For the DJI ones, they're one millimeter wider on each side. So if you have a tight camera cage frame, it's not gonna work. But with the Flywoo ones, it will work. So let's just see how easy it is to remove this. Oh, mm, maybe you pull like this. Both thumbs have to be covering, pressing against the hood here, okay? And then you just, and then you just do that and it, it, it comes right off. That's super easy. For the veterans, you already know what this is. You can close the video now, but before you go, if you wanna purchase one, please open the description below and check out the affiliate links. But for the newbies, keep watching if you wanna learn about ND filters. What the ND filters are are basically sunglasses for your camera. Not only it makes your drone look cool, it helps slow down your shutter speed. So without it, in the bright sun, like any conditions, like say you're on auto shutter speed, you'll wonder why your footage is like so sharp and sometimes jitters, like it's just like, or choppy looking. Uh, it's because your shutter speed is trying to cut the sunlight by running really fast, right? It's like going super fast. But if you have sunglasses, these ND filters, and you put the correct ones on, then you can dramatically slow down your shutter speed to the correct timing. What that does is as you fly fast, it might get rid of some jello or it'll get rid of, rid of the choppiness. It would also blur the foreground a little bit as you fly fast, kind of like when you're playing a video game, right? Like when you move really fast in a video game, the foreground blurs a little bit, right? So this does that too. You know, it looks a little more cinematic, but the center will still remain sharp, right? The center of focus. This can give it a more cinematic look, but if you remove it, I would say it's more of an action look. So what do you guys think? No ND filter on the left with ND filter on the right. Which one do you prefer? 
If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. If you decide to purchase today, please visit the affiliate links. It'll help me out a lot. So take care guys, I'll see you on the next one.